It's no secret Oklahoma has struggled with its foster care system for years. Well, a recent class action lawsuit against DHS ordered the state to eventually close the shelters and increase the number of foster homes. New this evening, Rick Wells shows us two agencies trying to help make sure that happens. Just a few of the animals that'll greet you if you visit OB Joyful Farm south of Coweta in Wagner County. About three years ago, Brad Johnson and his wife moved out here, and since then, they've used the farm as a way of giving kids in the DHS system a different kind of experience. And the workers have told us these kids get out here and they just they're, they're, they act different they were, because they're not cooped up. They invite the kids out for a few hours on the farm. Oh, they yeah. play with the animals, fish. And later this summer, they may be able to pick and even sell blackberries that'll grow here. There are also two homes on the property that are being leased to a couple of foster families. Right now there's five. There's five fosters and then um, two uh, of their own biological kids and then one on the way too. Eckerd, a national nonprofit family service organization based in Florida, is partnering with the farm to try to expand on its success and find more foster homes. The task is enormous. In Oklahoma, there's over 12,000 kids in out-of-state care. Uh, they're living um, in shelters, group homes, and in foster homes all over Oklahoma. His company's expertise is in finding, training, and retaining foster families. Maybe the farm and its animals can help get the children and potential foster families together. Ultimately, the goal is to eliminate the need for state-run shelters. The bottom line is get them out of there and get them in the homes. Rick Wells, News on 6. Anyone looking for information about becoming a foster parent or about uh, Eckerd or the OB Joyful Farm, well, we might help, uh, how they might help, rather. We have links for both agencies at newson6.com.